Hello, my name is Graham, and this is my first uh, internet tutorial on how to play a song on the acoustic guitar. I've had several requests from songs I've posted on my channel, and I'll probably get around to them uh, when I have time now that I'm doing my first one. Um, today I'm going to do Heart Cook's Brain by Modest Mouse from their album The Lonesome Crowded West from 97. It's a really great album. This is one of my favorite songs, and I was frustrated by the fact that I couldn't find any um, references to how to actually pull this off on an acoustic guitar if you're covering it. Uh, I couldn't uh, find any tabs that really fit, and th the trouble is the bass line. It's like a walk, the whole song. And the guitar part is like a high... It's like all in the 3rd and 5th fret on the E and the B string, and you just can't reach that. You know what I mean? And so, certain songs you can cover just by playing um, chords, well anything, you can cover songs on the guitar like nothing. Certain songs like Only in Dreams by Weezer or Metronome Arthritis by At the Drive-In or Heart Cook's Brain by Modest Mouse. The bass line is so critical that if you can't fit it in somehow or insinuate it, it's like you can't really cover the song. It's missing something. Um, so I was fooling around with tunings yesterday and I realized the bass line ends on a C. So if I wanted to get the whole um, um, high part, which is critical, in with the bass line, I'd tune my E string down to a C so that I could do the walk from the 5, 4, 2, 0, and end on the C. And that way I could have it all in one hand reach. So this is a crappy first tutorial on how to cover Heart Cook's brain, just so that, uh, to show a proof of concept, so that if anyone else wanted to cover it, they could um, give it a try and improve on it. So I have to chop this video a couple times because uh, I've never made a tutorial before on how to play a song in an alternate tuning, and I realized it was better to have a guitar tuned to the song Heart Cook's Brain, and then a guitar in standard, which I'll tune down um, and show you how to get there. Um, but in the tuning that um, the song is covered in, um, your E string is a C, and the bass walk starts on 5 with your ring finger, 4 with your middle, 2 with your index, and that's the basic principle of the whole thing. And you use those fingers because you're using your index finger and your pinky to play the and you can do both if you alternate that way, so... You can see how that, look, that might look complicated, but you can play the bass do the high parts at the same time. So in terms of tuning, we'll go there first. So I've switched guitars. This one is in standard tuning, and this is the one that is tuned to play Heart Cook's Brain in an alternate tuning. So I'm going to show you how to go from standard down to tuning where you can cover it in the variation that I'm um, giving a tutorial for. So. If you want to change the tuning on your guitar, we're going to drop um, the low sounding four strings down a lot. We're going to go um, four frets down, four frets down, seven frets down, and three frets down. So you're going to release a lot of tension off your neck. So the strings are holding the neck taut. When you um, tune strings down, the, the neck will um, uh, relax. So the strings that aren't being changed are going to become tighter and you're going to have to retune several times, so don't be alarmed if uh, you thought you had it in tune, you got to tune again three times, because when you're changing the tuning on your guitar, unless you have it um, set up that way for a while, you're going to have to retune multiple times. So um, to get down to the actual tuning where we're going to play the song um, from standard, if you take your D string and you lower your um, E string down to a D. Now we're in drop D tuning in standard pretty close. So you want to go from D to um, semitones lower, like two frets lower, down to an uh, C. So from D to C, you can play a standard C chord. So now your low E string is a low C string. We want the next one to be an F, so you can use your G string to tune your A string down to a G. But 
G is two semitones higher than F, so we gotta go two frets lower. So we gotta go down. So you can use an F um, chord standard. As you're doing this, your neck is adjusting, so these chords aren't reliable. That's a basic uh, landmark for how to go. So right now we've got a C and an F. So your next string is going to be a G, even though it's normally a D string. So you use your G string right next to it, and you tune your D down to a G. Way down. So even just doing that one string, you've um, again, depending on your guitar and your truss rod, you've released a lot of tension off your neck. So your C and your F are probably out of tune. You can't trust your original G at this point because it's um, so out of whack because you change your tension. So you can tune from when you've got your C string. That, sound, that sounds like a C to me. Tune from your fifth fret to get an F, or your seven and five harmonics um, if your intonation is good. And then you, from the F to your G, like from your normal A to your normal D, you can use the second and the open fret. So you've got uh, C, F, G at this point, and your B and your E are going to stay the same as in standard tuning, even though now they're uh, changed tension because you're throwing your neck out of whack. So your G string, which we used a moment ago, is going to be the same as the E. So you can use your existing E string to tune your G way down to E. That might be confusing, I'm sorry. It's weird to drop a guitar down and try and explain how to do it. Um, but it does depend on your guitar, because depending on your intonation and also how tough your neck is, um, you might have these problems or you might not. But that's a, that's a messy, uh, long-winded way to get your guitar from E, A, D, G, B, E to C, F, G, E, B, E, where you can play... If you have a standard uh, guitar and you want to tune it into the tuning for this cover, we're going from uh, E, A, D, G, B, E to C, F, G, E, B, E. So you have to tune your four lowest sounding strings down. Um, I had a, a section I tried yesterday where I described how to get a standard guitar down in the old fashioned way if you didn't have an analog tuner or a tuning app or a piano kicking around. Um, hopefully, um, most of you skip that because it's like this long-winded way of like describing how to tune your guitar down and adjusting it because um, it is a bit of a task to get your guitar in an alternate tuning if you haven't done it in a while. I have had to pick away at this uh, tutorial over three days because I've got a lot going on but I wanted to finish the project so I came back today to give just a little bit about how if you have the guitar in the tuning and you see where it's basically being played a little bit of technique about how to pull it off with your hands. I've got a little bit of a unique um, style I think because I've got very bad hand arthritis and I've had to learn how not to use a guitar pick, so I can't really um, grip that anymore. So for this song, you can't really strum anyway because you're playing on the top string and the two bottom strings, and you don't want to hit the ones in between. So if you had a pick, that wouldn't really work. Or maybe you could, maybe everyone out there could figure that out. But it's like, you want to make like a grip where your um, thumb and your index finger are kind of like in this space interval where you can go up and down. And while you're strumming your hand a little bit, um, you're kind of picking and plucking and strumming at the same time. So you can... Like you've got this back and forth. Um, and don't mind me tapping, I can't help that either because of my hands. The, uh, that back and forth motion is what you want to try if you want to play something on the top strings and the bottom strings without playing the stuff in between. So like the down... 
is your thumb. And the high notes are all um, upstrokes, basically, with your... Sorry, there's a lot of downstrokes, too, with the, the tip of your fingernail. But uh, that's how you separate that as a picking pattern. Um, you just have to get that posture where you can do that without hitting the strings in the middle. Um, so that's that's how you play those two parts. But there's also the harmonics and stuff. And there's a there's another guitar that fills in a lot of stuff. And it sounds like there actually might be like some record scratching and stuff in there too. It's hard to tell with the studio mix. But uh, the harmonics, I can if you go on the eighth fret on your B string and you do the same thing with your five on the low C and four on the low C and that on your B is the same as three on your E. So when you go down to the two, you can shift to there. So at the start of the song and several times in the song, um, you hear this. And that's how you can play that part if you want to. plan to actually try and learn the song better, um, try and get some of the other guitar part and some of the more um, uh, body oriented stuff and the melodies and things where you can hear a lot going on. Because right now I'm just trying to grab the bass and the high part that Isaac's playing. So anyway, that's uh, how you can pull that part off for the intro. And other than that, um, all of the high parts that are um, on the three and five, you'd really have to listen to the song because the variations change um, in the different phrasing. But that's that's where it's all located is on the third and fifth fret. So if you play around, you'll find where you want to go. So I don't know if that's helpful. That's my first tutorial. Um, it took me a few days to put together, and uh, I'm sure if I keep doing them, I'll be more succinct and I'll uh, be more organized in terms of um, conveying just um, something useful. But um, I hope that somewhere out there, someone's watching this and they were like, oh, I want to learn that song, and this helps a bit because that was the point. Um, so yeah, cheers, and good luck if you like playing this, and if you listen to, um, to the video, then thanks for listening, because I never really expect anyone to listen when I post things, so it's always nice when people do.